do a quick pickups video i've been picking up some things over the last couple of weeks for example from toy fairs charity shops ebay and even uh on a second pass of those boxes i got from my mom's um i managed to find a few pieces that were pretty nice uh so i think we'll start with there actually so you might have remembered i picked up a miles mayhem figure um that was chucked in with some i think it was some gi joes um well what i did was I went looking for parts for those G.I. Joes and the only other place I thought that some could be was in my old box of Lego. Now in that box of Lego, I managed to find Miles Mayhem's helmet. Um, so I've got a complete Miles Mayhem now, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, ooh, so I'm happy to have him. Also, uh, what I managed to find in there was a couple of Robocop figures. Um, now this one had a broken arm, um, it was sheared off, what I managed to do with a little bit of fiddling and a little bit of force is uh, cut a screw off, uh, put the screw head in the arm and then just shave a little bit away in order to, to get that screw in, it hasn't got the best, it's a bit loose basically, but it was essentially a broken toy and this had got electronics inside so I didn't want to risk damaging those electronics which still work so it's it's a pretty nice display piece now to be honest um, I'm quite happy to fix that up uh, the other Robocop I found uh, was the one with the detachable helmet and detachable chest plate like so and you can have him battle damaged or not I can't find the non-battle damaged helmet and the non-battle uh, battle damaged chest plate is broken in half so I've gone for the uh, battle damaged Robocop there but pretty cool couple of things it was nice to find those on the second pass round and actually fix something that I broke when I was a kid so that, that was really nice. Um, next items I went to a charity shop in Aldridge which is a few miles away from my house I'm not really into corgi cars but I saw these um, and I thought well they're three for a pound so I picked up a Charlie's Angels van a Captain America car a Shazam car a uh, 007 vehicle, I forget which film it's from and um, probably the best two pieces I picked up a bat car and a bat copter which are really nice and um, these are the two things I actually really like um, I might have a go at restoring them one day he says one day so yeah, they cost me a couple of quid um, which weren't too bad at all uh, then Last Sunday I went to a uh, local toy fair, um, which is at Oak Park Leisure Centre, um, just up the road from where my mum and dad live, and I went in there with not a lot of hope, um, but I found some cool pieces. So the first thing I picked up was a Tiger, um, I think his name is Tiger from the Thundercats classic range. Um, I haven't got many Thundercats. In fact, the only other one I've got, I picked up for a, a quid off eBay. Um, so I've, I've really never had any Thundercats. I just thought it'd be nice for the collection to have a representation of another 80s cartoon. He won a lot of money. He was mint in box. I've opened him up, obviously. Really like this whip. Um, he's a cool thing. So I picked up him. Then on another stall, if you'll stand up. Um, they had some Transformers on there. And there's, a, there's a toy uh, shop in Wolverhampton called King Street Toys. And as I got to the back of this um, this toy fair that was on, I noticed one of the guys from King Street Toys was basically buying out all the Transformers that were on the, on the back store. Um, and there was actually a store from King um, Street Toys at this, um, at this toy fair. 
I kind of barred my way in a little bit, I suppose. Took a few items off there. Didn't see what he put in the bag. There was a couple of Beast Wars items on there and that, which really I'm not into. But I did manage to find, for a pound each, this uh, mini-con set. Don't know what they're called, but it's a set that I've been looking at on and off for a while, to be honest. I do quite like mini-cons. Uh, and this is quite a common set. It's not a set I had when I was younger. Uh, and for a pound each, I thought... I may as well, quite cool little things. And also, picked up this guy, which is, I forget his name, oh, I forget his name. Um, he's the Minicon from Unicron, but Emily uh, kindly told me that this is a pretty good score for a pound, um, because he comes with a black Unicron, which is a little bit rarer. So, pretty cool find. Um, do like him. Um, I have got the other version, the, the, the original version. I think he's like a black colour. But I was happy to find him. So, okay, what else have we got? So, the other day on eBay, uh, we all know uh, SMS number one, or Smuzz now. Uh, he's dropped his number one now. Uh, picked up some Centurions the other day. So I found a lot of Centurions at my old days. And what I needed was another couple of max rays. Now, the max ray that I've got, is, uh, his arms were broken off. I managed to repair those. But I picked up another max ray for, I think it was about 12 quid. Um, not too bad. Um, I've actually just noticed, though, unfortunately, on his back there's a little bit of breakage there. So I might have to try and repair that or just accept that it's there, which I probably will do. Um, I probably will just keep them on the shelf like that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to have another Max Ray. I think he's probably my favourite Centurion now. And I need one more with a helmet so I can display all three weapon sets I've got for him. A little bit gutted about that. Uh, that wasn't in the description, which is a little bit naughty, but never mind. Now, what I am trying to do in the, in the toy room, or in the Danny Glover suite, is... Um, Get items in there that trigger nostalgic memories. And I saw these items on there. I was actually buying um, an item for a uh, figure four Sacred Santa. And I was having a look to see what other items was on this, uh, this seller had. And I spotted these. And I don't think I ever had them as a kid. But I remember my dad getting really excited about the fact that this show was coming on telly. And I remember we used to sit and watch it together. Which is a, a nice... A nice memory, and because of that, I thought, oh, you know what? Let's let's try and bring that memory into the collection. So I picked up these three space precinct figures. They're a bit tat, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, quite cool little figures um, for what they are. Uh, decent articulation. They're in pretty good condition, and they're worth a lot of money. So I'm happy to have those. And uh, finally. Uh, Mr. Graham, the Collector 75, contacted me. Uh, we we're having a just discussion. He saw I was getting a few GI Joes lately, and he sent me this, which is really, really cool. Um, it's going to look lovely on my Joe shelf I'm going to do. need to get a little character to sit in there, but it's really, really nice. Really, really nice. So I haven't got many Joe vehicles, and the ones I did have, um, I'm missing loads of parts, so I think this will look really, really nice on display. I'm going to try and get the, the one or two pieces that are missing for it and, and complete it. So I really appreciate your kindness, Graham. That, that, that's really nice. Um, oh, yeah, finally, I've been meaning to show you this one for a while. My sister went to America a couple of months ago now, and uh, she got me this from McDonald's, which is a funky Optimus Prime, and uh, the sword pops out. Yeah, pretty cool thing. So yeah, that's what I've been picking up lately. Um, yeah, hope you like this video. I've been Zork Rider, and I'll catch you again soon.